Hello viewers, it's Cynthia Michael with Free Review, bringing you my 662 podcast. This is my 662 podcast. Like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my best not to reach your heart during the audio podcast recording as well, not to cause any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this is me. And this, uh, you know, this uh, this podcast won't take any adult, uh, any uh, any foul adult language in this podcast this time. So basically, I'm gonna keep it, keep it, yeah, I'm gonna keep it, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna keep this, uh, you know, a free adult language. But yeah, this podcast. So basically, you know, this podcast will be a free, uh, you know, there won't be any foul language. Your or any other adult references, you know, no, no foul language in this podcast this this time. So anyway, with this and everything else out the with this and everything else out the way, let's get into the, let's get into the topic. I just finished watching the, the, the let's get into the topic of this podcast. I just finished watching the whole second season of Star Trek Prodigy. Oh my god, my mind is blown. This this was a mind blower. So basically, oh, before I go any further, if you guys haven't if you guys haven't watched Star Trek Discovery yet, or the season two season two of Star Trek Discovery, you know, don't don't watch this if you haven't fully watched you know watch you watch the the second season of Star Trek. Uh, I mean, a Star Trek Prodigy yet, so basically, you know, if you guys want to be spoiler-free, like, you know, you guys haven't watched the complete season of, uh, of, of Prodigy, don't watch this podcast if you haven't yet, but, you know, those who have, let's get into it. Uh, first off, I'm glad, uh, the first thing I want to start off is, I'm glad that, you know, that the whole season, I'm glad that, you know, that party party is on Netflix because Nickelodeon did not get a good job with party during the second season. When it comes to like you know, they did promote the show, but they didn't tell us when the show when the show was coming back from break and whatnot, and put it in a weird time slot as well. So basically, I'm happy that that you know. I mean, that uh, that part of heat is on uh, is on Netflix because you know honestly, part of heat is always meant to be uh, it's an anime show meant for streaming services. So basically, I'm glad that you know it works better on Netflix than it worked on Nickelodeon because you know they they didn't really good did a good job. Nickelodeon did not get a good job of promoting when the show was go, going on hiatus when the show is coming back on hiatus and plus the time slot for the show was kind of crappy. So anyway, but honestly, oh, so much is, uh, so much, so much happened in the, so much has happened in the second season. So basically, you know, we finally get, we finally, we finally found your code tag, you know, we got to see, we get to see, we get to see the doctor again, you know, Jamie's back, uh, uh, the uh, Admiral Jamie's back, you know, we get to see uh, Hologram Jamie again, and plus we get to see a new, a new version of the boys who shit class, <laughs> you, are, uh, what, uh, you know, we get to see a new boys here <laughs> version shit and whatnot, and plus, and plus the, and plus that, and plus the order events from, from this season and the previous season, it, 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 it all connects to what happened in the card in the first season. Now, what, what do you mean that, you know, so the show is officially, a lot of people think that, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, that the, uh, a lot of people were wondering, you know, where does, where does Star Trek policy fit in the, in the main Star Trek canon? So basically, we now know that this, uh, this, this happened, happened before the, for the main event of, of Picard, of Star Trek Picard TV one. So basically, turns out the turns out the destruction of the fleet in part of TV one led to uh, uh, led to the fleet led to the fleet being uh, led to a new uh, a new star fleet uh, star fleet uh, ordered a new fleet to be built at the shipyards on Mars, and, 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 and therefore if you watch if you if you watch if you watch Picard, you know that the synthetics. 
that worked at the shipyard ended up attacking the shipyard that that was working on a new fleet. And therefore, because of that, because of that, because of that attack on Mars by the synthetics, therefore interfered with what Adam Bacard mission at the time to evacuate evacuate the planet of Romulus when when the when the sun was about to go supernova and whatnot. So therefore. What I'm trying to say, there are events, there are events in, that happen in in, 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 in in Star Trek policy, put in motion the uh, the the other events that uh, that was uh, that was kind of uh, kind of set up, you know, set up their events of what happened, you know, uh, what happened to the shipyard, you know, because of the fleet getting got got heavily damaged in the first season of. Policy, therefore, Starfleet ordered ordered the shipyards on Mars to make a new to free a starships to you know, to face those damaged ships that uh, that was damaged by the weapon uh, on the polar star uh, by, by uh, on the polar star. Then for then for then the synthetics on Mars. In the attacking the shipping yards, and therefore, therefore affected because Admiral because you know evacuation mission of Romulus. So therefore, start a uh, uh, party put in, put in, put in, their events and put in, their events and the the events that happen and uh, and party put in motion the events that that was good that was good that was good, that was mostly touched on in Picard in the Picard series. So basically that was a brilliant tie in. So basically I was not expecting that, you know, how how they gonna tie 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 party to the main Star Trek canon so they did a good job of that it also it also it feels like i'm watching they kind of took evidence from loki the some from they took elements from uh, of the loki series in this one it was good to see westy crosser kind of do, doing the time time the time agency sort of thing with the travelers in this season you no know, time to reserve the main the main time timeline of star trek in this one so basically it was good to it was good to see it was good to see you know it was good to see it was good to see wesley costa you know and acted again using his you know time traveler powers and whatnot trying to help the party gang to 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 preserve the main star trek prime timeline as well and also the oh the main thing i really like about this is um, temple uh, uh temple uh temple mechanics the, the very important how Temple mechanics work in the world of Star Trek. So, but throughout this whole series, like you know, everybody was was reminding Dax that you know the importance of the per, the importance of learning about Temple mechanics. You know, so basically, everybody seemed like everybody was warning Dax about Temple mechanics. Yeah, you should you should you should read up on Temple mechanics. So basically, everybody was putting kept on pointing out to Dax that you know you have not learned about Temple mechanics one on one. You know, so that's the, this whole series kept on kept on. You know, the Temple mechanics of time travel in different in different timelines and whatnot. That's what this whole series was was pointed out. It was an ongoing get. It was an ongoing going funny gag throughout this series like you know temple mechanics is temple mechanics one on one is a is, is a very important subject that every star trap any star any star freak that should learn at 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 star freak at at star freak academy as well so anyway the one thing that really pissed me off I think like you know we didn't get to no, we didn't get to see, we didn't get no tuba, uh, we didn't get to see tuba, we didn't get to see Paris, we didn't get to see Kim, we didn't get to see Alana or Seven in this season, you know, but it was good to see the Doctor again, you know, we got to see the Admiral, you know, you know, it's good. 
if screwed, you know. Out of all the boys you cast, we only got the doctor, Parfitate in the season, and and Chakotay as well. But honestly, I wish that, you know, I wish that Tupac, you know, Tupac, uh, Tom, Kim, Kim, Alana, Seven, Seven were, were 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 in the second season. The, but the main thing that really pissed me off, uh, despite spending all this time looking for, looking for, uh, looking for Chicote finally by January, you know, the two have not hooked up. They had not become a couple, so basically the ring the the main thing I was hoping for in this series, you know, since it started is like you know the way that Jen Ray was like you know like you know never give up looking for Tupac, you know, uh, looking for Dakota. I was hoping that these two will finally realize that you know that they're meant to be a couple, but. They're still friends. So basically, if you guys are hoping, if you guys are hoping that you know that that uh, that that this season will finally see Gangway and Dakota finally become hope become a couple, it wasn't happening. It was not happening. So basically, they're still friends. So basically, they're still friends. So basically, but also, uh, but also that the uh, but also Dax and the others did have some good characters about it in this season as well. So basically, you know, there's some good character development for each of them, each each of each of the members of the party again. And also, we got a new member as well, who is a Vulcan as well, added to the gang as well. So basically, you know, if if you know, if I really hope that you know. I know with you, with you, with you know. I really hope two things happen, ha- happen, and uh, happen. One, I hope we, that we get a third season of Prodigy. Two, I hope that we see the Prodigy gang meet up with the, with meet up with the with the Cerebro gang in the final season of Star Trek Love Decks. So basically, we know that you know the fifth season of Star Trek Lower Decks is going to be the final season. So therefore, I'm hoping that you know, you know, I'm hoping that you know, I'm hoping that you know, we get to see the Parsi Gang meet up with the Cerebral Gang, you know, and do a crossover, you know, you know, to you know, to really, you know, that will really make the the final season of Star Trek Lower Decks very very memorable if we had the crew uh, we had the crew of the uh, we had the party game meet up with the cerebral game in the final season of Star Trek the Low Decks. So anyway some good character but some good returning ca- character, you know, Dr. Crosser came also Dr. Crosser was there as well and whatnot. So basically a good a good setup a good a good, a good story that uh, that can lie, you know, that set up the canning for, uh, set up the set up the main canning for the series and and the prime Star Trek timeline, and also and, and also gave us an idea that uh, gave us idea, you know, as to put in motion you know, the events that happened in in in, in, in Picard in, in Star Trek Picard as well. So anyway. This was a good series. Netflix, the people, the people behind the series and Netflix really done a good job. So basically, I'm really hoping that season three. I'm hoping that you know this will get a season three because I can't wait to see. <gasps> I can't wait to see see the policy game, you know, return and see what you know, what other uh, what other events they'll get into. So basically, you know, I can't. I'm hoping that you know Netflix will will give it a, a give it a, a season three. So but you know, a, you know, but most likely, most likely, you know, if the show runners are down for it, you know, or you know, Netflix is kind of stretch thin at the moment. But you know, most likely, I don't. Doubt, I don't doubt that Netflix is go. I don't doubt that Netflix will get get policy a season three, and when new new Star Trek policy for a season three, for season three. So anyway, what do you guys think about Star Trek policy season two? Good, bad, or just okay, or just nah? Please leave it over the comments below. Anyway, signing off from Screen Reviews one.